So you're wondering what a landlord's rights are when selling their property in Ontario. My name is Daniel Hale. I'm a licensed real estate agent and I work with a lot of real estate investors, which means I sell a ton of tenanted properties. And I'm going to share with you your rights when selling a tenanted property in Ontario as a landlord. Now let's just get the first one out of the way because believe it or not, I get a lot of people worried about this you absolutely have the right to sell your rental property. A lot of landlords ask this question because they get concerned or nervous thinking that they can't sell their tenanted property with the tenant in it because maybe the tenant scares them and tells them that they're not gonna leave and they're not going anywhere, they're not gonna allow showings and all sorts of other stuff. But let's just get that right out of the way. You absolutely have the right to sell your property. Property showings. The landlord has the right to show the property between the hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. provided that the landlord gave the tenant proper notice. Now you must give the tenant 24 hours notice. Now the other thing is, you have to give them the proper notice. If you have a lease agreement on that lease agreement, there will be a checkbox that states the landlord and tenant agree to deliver notices through email. If that is checked off as yes, you can send an email to your tenant giving them notice for a showing. Now, if it's checked off as no, then the tenant can deny a showing at the door if you did not deliver that notice and post it on their door. Now, of course, you might have a great tenant. You guys have a communication through text or email and they actually ask you to give them notice through email. Then, of course, that is okay. But if you're dealing with some problems, maybe you guys aren't getting along and they want you to deliver that notice properly, you must have that checkbox marked as yes on the lease so that you can email it to them. If it's checked off as no, you have to print it out and post it on their door. So remember, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., 24 hours notice, you can show the property anytime between those hours. Now the tenant cannot tell the landlord that they must reschedule a showing or deny one of the showings as long as you've done those things correctly. If they do, you as a landlord have the right to tell them no, you still will be showing the property because the landlord also has the right to put a lockbox on the property with a key in it. So the tenant does not need to be home during the showing, the landlord still has the right to show the property. So as long as you've given that notice, you can tell them no, you will not be rescheduling it and it is within your right to show the property during those times and you can grant the agent access to show the property. Which is also the landlord's right when selling a property in Ontario. You can give a licensed real estate agent access to the property and they can then show their clients. Now, don't get me wrong here. If the tenant has friends over or a function or something important and you guys are on good terms, I do recommend rescheduling that showing and trying to work with them, provided that it is a two-way street and both of you guys are working together. If it's not, and maybe they're causing a lot of problems for you with the sale as a landlord and interfering, then of course, stick to your rights and show the property. Now the landlord also has the right to put a sign on the front lawn and a lockbox, like I mentioned, with a key in it. The landlord can show the property if the tenant is not home. Now the tenant does have the right to stay in the property during the sale as well as during any showings. You cannot ask them to leave. But if they aren't home, that's okay. You can still proceed with showings. Now, when it comes to the actual purchaser, the person that is going to be buying the property, the landlord has the right to sell the property to a purchaser that is going to be using the property for their own personal use, for their child's personal use, or for one of their parents' personal use. This would mean that you can sell the property to that person and you have the right to serve the tenant an N12 notice of eviction. Now there are rules and regulations to that N12. You need to serve that N12 appropriately. They have 60 days from the time that they pay rent. They cannot be on a fixed term lease. It must be 60 days before that lease is up or if they're on a month to month lease, you can serve it anytime you wish provided the lease is finished and it's 60 days from the time that they pay rent. 
Now keep in mind, the tenant still does have the right to a landlord and tenant board hearing. So there is a chance they might not leave on that 60 days notice. So you need to make sure that you have the appropriate clauses and conditions in your agreement of purchase and sale to keep you protected as the landlord. Now, the landlord also has the right to sell it to another investor. But here's the catch. If you sell it to another investor, you cannot evict the tenant or ask that tenant to leave. That new investor must take on the tenant and assume the existing tenancy at that same rental rate unless they're eligible for that 2.5% increase in rent, which you can serve to them if you wish, or if the property was built after November of 2018, then of course your property is not subject to rental control and that new landlord can issue a rent increase above the normal 2.5% guideline. But an investor must assume the tenancy, unless, which leads me to my next point, the landlord also does have the right to negotiate a cash for keys term with the tenant in order for them to end the tenancy. Now, the tenant also has the right to deny this and say no, but you can bring it up as the landlord and see if you guys can come to an amicable solution where maybe you agree to a cash for keys sum, in which case the tenant would sign an N11, which is an agreement to end the tenancy, and then you guys would end the tenancy, and you can then sell the property to another investor. If they agree to the cash for keys, they sign an N11, and of course you agree to a move out date that works for both parties. Now when it comes to selling your property in Ontario, you must follow the landlord and tenant board guidelines. Make sure that you also stick within the tenant's rights, not just the landlord's rights. This is very important because you don't want to get yourself in trouble. And if you're looking to sell your tenanted property, just shoot me an email, send me a text, or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you guys. And I got tons of videos on this channel about how to sell your property with tenants in it. Watch this one or watch this one.